and welcome back to KNC Taxidermy. And no, these are not mine. Anyways, today we're going to do the how I'm going to show you how that I mount a form to my stand, which my husband made me this wonderful stand that is bolted straight to the floor, so it's good and sturdy. Um, especially when I do big animals, like when we're going to do the bison and stuff, so I can pull and tug on it as much as I want, and it's not going to end up on my head or the floor or wherever it might end up. So anyways, I'm going to show you how you can mount, the easiest way to mount your mounting brace onto your form uh, especially when it's a big, big form, um, but some people just try to hold the form up and wrestle it and try to screw it in and stuff like that when it all comes apart and it's easier, works smarter, not harder, right? So when, if you undo your brace here, it's got four holes in it and I'm going to put the, there, there's plywood on the back of these forms and I'm on and I'm going to attach this with four screws on the back of the form. Now the screws I'm using today are a uh, multi-purpose screw inch and a quarter just a simple little screw um, that I can attach easily. So I just take my brace and I put it right back here and just try to, I put it more up towards the top center because when you overlap your hide and stuff, it gives you plenty of room to work on that brisket and glue it and secure it to the back of the form before you cut excess off. So I usually place mine just a little bit higher than just straight in the center. This is also a pedestal, so I'm going a little higher because we'll cut, I usually cut the edge a little shorter on a pedestal, although it is a wall pedestal, so it won't be showing. This is going to go flush. The back side of this mount is going to go flush to the wall, so it doesn't really matter as much what the back looks like, whereas if you have a pedestal and the, the part, the plywood part will be facing out you like put something like a decorative fabric or leather or something on that to make it look nice as it would be shown so anyways what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and secure this here to the back of to hold it in place let me back that one out a little bit so you can start it up a little bit more. There we go. And once I get all four of these secured in here, so I have a nice solid working base. And then you just slide that back up on there. And once I go to start mounting and stuff, I'll kind of level, you know, that's when you start trying to level and stuff like that to set your eyes and your antlers and stuff like that. But right now we'll cover that when we get to that point. But right now I'm just showing you how to get your form onto your mounting stand. So easy peasy, that's about it. Just make sure it's good, tight and secure, tight and everything up so it's not moving on you. And then you can, once you get your hide fleshed and everything like that, you can slip it on there to test fit it and everything, and you've got a nice, safe working environment. And of course, keep following along to see how this Oryx progresses. Um, if you watch the opening box, you got to see the horns and everything else. Once we start working on this Oryx, we're gonna do it step by step. And of course, keep following, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.